Hey Gemini gang, what's up guys? I hope everybody's doing well. So I wanted to come through with a quick general reading guys. Thanks for being here everybody. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box. It's gonna have everything that you need to know, love. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead, stick around. You might like it, okay? If you're returning, welcome back, Jimmy. I hope that everything's good. I hope you've been taking care of yourself. And thank you guys for the support. Y'all are the real motherfucking MVPs, okay? So thank you so much. We don't got no time to play around, so we're gonna go ahead and just pull whatever cards come out. We have let your intentions be known. Some of you are going to be questioning somebody directly or you already are questioning somebody or somebody's questioning you. You know how this works. Take it as it resonates imagination clouds your your judgment what are your intentions am i imagining something am i imagining that you're a good person am i imagining that you really care am i imagining that you know um are these negative vibes i'm getting am i imagining the fact that i feel like you're shysty i feel like you're up to no good am i imagining this like i feel like that energy gemini like you're questioning something like some of you might be um, feeling like everything's working against you right now Oh, excuse me. You might feel like everything's working against you and spirit's asking you to question your own intentions. Is your imagination clouding your judgment? Are you unhappy in the job that you're at, in the relationship that you're at, in the environment, the house, the space, the city, the state, the planet, right? That you're at. And so is everything shitty because of that? And if so, is there any way for you to fix this? That's for some of you guys. Spirit's asking you to question yourself. Am I clouding my own judgment because I haven't secured what my own intentions are? Do I intend to leave this shitty A, B, C, D, whatever we just talked about? Or do I intend to stay and complain for the rest of my life? Like the choice is yours. That's for some of you. That's obviously not going to be for everybody. But for everybody, there is going to be some kind of transition that's happening. Your surroundings will be undergoing some kind of transition. I'm seeing like a curve ball. Like they're literally showing me a ball and it curving. Like something's coming, coming, coming. And then bam, it, take, it changes direction. So something could go in a completely different direction than what you're thinking, Gemini. Something could turn out really different than what you are envisioning right now. You could be on the fast track for something and then bam, something stops, something puts you in a new direction, something halts that movement. Um, not to scare anybody, but that is the kind of energy I'm getting. I'm getting like something's coming, 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 and bam, it goes a different way. It almost like throws you off. There is a curveball ahead okay i don't know so take it as it resonates when this curveball comes you might be asking if this is a per attached to a person or a thing or just asking yourself asking spirit questioning you know your ancestors is this good for me you're questioning something gemini in the future or you're being questioned you're questioning someone's intentions or somebody is questioning yours you might feel like you need to come let your intentions be known to somebody, Gemini. You might be like, look, this person thinks I'm like the worst person ever. For some of you, that is the case. Gemini, for some of you, somebody out there that you care about doesn't have the highest opinion of you. And, you know, so you might feel like you need to go in and explain to this person, look, I was going through this or this is what happened. I almost like you want to clear your name. Or somebody might want to do this in regards to you, Gemini. Somebody might want to clear their name in regards to you. They might want to let their intentions be known. Like, maybe, yes, at first when I was in your life, I was this and I was that. That's true. I'm not going to sit here and deny that. It, that is all true. But I'm being honest with you right now and I'm letting you know that this is my intention. This is what I want now. That's for some of you. Somebody is going to sure come singing you come some kind of song letting you know that this is what they intend or this is what they want so somebody you some of you need to prepare yourself for that yeah you damn straight some of you need to prepare yourself for somebody coming in to offer you their cup they want to let their intentions be known they want to let you know that you can trust them that they're not going to hurt you for some of you guys you you are convinced that they will or that they're just like everybody else Maybe you've dealt with this person before and so you have a negative, um, you know, outlook of them, Gemini. 
or maybe you haven't dealt with them before and maybe you're just like everybody hurts me so why would you be any different right that's for somebody like I don't know I'm getting that energy but I really am strongly getting that somebody is about to let their intentions be known to you or that you're needing to let your intentions be known so I don't know take that as it resonates what else do we have for Gemini I just heard they want what's what's yours too I just heard that that's way too many guys and it's all tangled up so I'm not gonna take that some of you guys might feel like you have a lot of people that want to take from you you know they want your energy they want your sex they want your love they want your money they want your status they want your spiritual gifts right they want your youth they want your beauty they want your kids they want your man they want your job like they want everything they want your life for some of you they want to be you okay some of you might feel like that like you might feel like you have and this actually kind of does resonate for me guys like you might feel like you have people that are making fake pages to watch you you might have caught these people doing this right some of you you know for a fact others of you you just suspect right but you feel like there are a lot of eyes on you there's always people trying to take from you or siphon from you gemini like <laughs> Right? What can I get from Gemini today? Can I get their time? Can I get their energy? Can I get their fucking sanity? Right? What can I take? So it's like you feel like you have to vet people around here. Like I have to, like literally guys, this is so sad, but I had to make my Instagram private because I literally had people making fake pages to stalk me. Like my shit's not that interesting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I post about plants and freaking like, I post memes all day like there's nothing interesting going on there but I have people making fake pages to just watch me constantly and it's just like it's very it's like spiritual trespassing because even though you feel like you're just harmlessly watching somebody from behind this computer screen like me the empath I feel that shit constantly I feel like energy pressing up against me so you might feel like you have to question people you have to vet people um gemini of like why are you here what are your intentions why are you in my life why do you want to be on my page like it's ridiculous like but you might feel that way because you might feel like with this night energy you have a lot of people that are coming towards you so i don't know gemini somebody might be really thinking about choosing their words very wisely before they actually do approach you like maybe they maybe they get this energy off of you maybe they sense this energy like Gemini is a little bit like a feral cat right now that's gonna literally jump on my face and scratch me to death if I even approach them so maybe I should choose my words wisely maybe I should come up with some kind of speech like I'm getting somebody like rehearsing what they're gonna say typing it out erasing it writing in a way like and then you know like they they're like oh no that sounds stupid or oh no Gemini is gonna see right through that or Gemini is too smart for that or I gotta come with better than that like there's this energy of like they know your standards okay so whoever this is they know your fucking intentions I'm gonna let you know that <laughs> I'm gonna let you know that Gemini they know your intentions they're wanting to know do you know theirs right <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting, okay? So somebody wants to let you know like what what their intentions are. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? General energy, what else do we have? That was too many, I'm not gonna take it. I thought it was one, but it was like four. What else do we have for Gemini? Forces beyond your control intervene. Interesting. This is interesting because I'm getting some mixed messages. So the first thing I'm getting is that actually spirit has put a block on this person. Like, no, you are not allowed to. Because I kind of forget the energy that somebody knows they have a strong telepathic connection with you, Gemini. So if they can just sit there and stare at your picture and be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? <laughs> like, they'll never actually have to come say it to you. You'll just naturally forgive them one day, right? Um, and spirits put a block on that like no actually you don't get to send any loving to energy towards Gemini you don't get to try to converse with them telepathically you have to be an adult and you have to come and you have to say something to them all right we, that for some of you it's the action that's necessary okay for whatever your spiritual journey is your lesson your karma whatever with this person or whatever this is okay that's what I'm getting for some of you guys for others of you forces beyond your control are intervening so that this person um 
yeah that's kind of what i'm getting gemini i'm almost getting the energy of like this person is not going to be stopped from approaching you but they are going to be stopped from putting up some kind of facade or you know playing like because i'm getting the energy of somebody who wants to like you know you know those stereotypical like musician guys that will like sing you a song and like try to make you like right try to make you fall in love with them like that's what i'm getting like spirits putting it into that like no gemini i don't know who this is for guys but i almost get the energy of you were dealing with somebody who was a very much a smooth talker very much charming very much somebody who could get over on anybody charm the panties right off your grandma okay like that's the energy i'm getting somebody who was like that spirit has put a block on this you are not a charmer anymore you are a real person now you get to come and you get to come real okay you get to approach gemini in an adult manner and have the conversation lay out all your bullshit own up to what you need to own up to like spirits put an, a stop to somebody's facade or somebody's games or trickery and is honestly making them have to confront you in a very real way making them have to say something to you um in a way that they wouldn't normally do it i don't know because choose your words carefully came back again with forces beyond your control intervene with let your intentions be known i mean that's what i'm getting here I feel like spirits making somebody come to you correct like they're not having a choice okay for some of you you're at the precipice of trying to fix something like you're trying to solve a problem it's very frustrating for you you're struggling with this you don't know how this is going to be solved you've been trying to let your intentions be known you feel like it's been being blocked or people are working against you or it's just never going to be solved like there's some kind of huge struggle here i almost get the energy of spirit intervening in this and this is going to be solved for you you're not going to have to worry about this you're just going to wake up one day and the problem's going to be gone the problem's going to be solved you're never going to have to deal with it again you're like what the hell happened spirit happened spirit intervened right i don't know how i don't know why but that's what that's what i'm getting one more for gemini and then we're gonna be and there's gonna be an end there will, there will be an end a final ending to something okay with this this is the almost like the credit card for me this card when it comes out it represents a final completion to a cycle this isn't like oh gemini you might say goodbye to somebody this week like no this is a final completion to a problem there is a solution here i don't know i'm getting that very strongly gemini like there is a solution to your problem here but it might involve you letting go of something it might involve you releasing something okay it might involve you taking some kind of action to release something too because when i look at this i see like all of the the suits of the tarot really I see the stave here, I see the cup, I see the sword, and I see the pinnacle. So this is like giving me like magician energy. I feel like there is some kind of action that you're gonna have to take that's gonna resolve something, okay? You might have to let your intentions be known. You might have to go in somewhere and you might have to be like, look, this is what I want. This is what I intend to have happen. That's what I'm getting. It's definitely what I'm getting, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dig a little deeper and see what we got. What's this let your intentions be known? Is this Gemini? Is this somebody coming towards Gemini? Right? Look, Gemini. Gemini. I'm telling you there is somebody around you. This person could be a Gemini as well, but they don't have to be, okay? I'm telling you, there is somebody around you that is thinking very hard about whether they want to approach you or not. Do they come to you and do they let their intentions be known? This person might have been watching you for a long time. I almost get the energy of somebody like, I don't know why I'm hearing a banjo. <laughs> right? Just like strumming along on that thing, thinking about you. Like, should I go to Gemini? Should I go sing him my song? Right? Like, I don't know. There is somebody. They want to try to fix this. They want to, they want these swords that maybe they even put in your heart. They want to reverse it so the swords slide out, if that makes any sense, okay? They almost want to reverse this heartache that they caused or this stress that's in your life um, that possibly they caused. I don't know, Gemini, but 
Whether they caused it or not, that's what I'm getting though. So I'm going to stick with that to not have this be so damn confusing. With the lover's energy here, there's a choice that needs to be made. This is a very significant choice, a spiritual choice, if you will, with the lover's energy. So somebody needs to make a choice to let their intentions be known. I'm making the choice to come towards you to let you know that I don't want to hurt you. Or I'm sorry that I hurt you. Or, you know, I, I'm sorry that I caused you stress. I'm sorry that you're going through this stressful situation. I want to help you. There's somebody that is coming towards you to let you know that they want to heal a situation with you. They want to make something better. Or they want to help you heal a situation in your own life. It might not even be that you have any problems with this person, Gemini. This could just be somebody who knows that you're going through something and is like, I know that you're struggling in this way. I think I could be of service. I, I want to help you with this. That's the energy I'm getting. There's definitely been some kind of painful ending or possibly even betrayal. What is this three of swords reverse for this person that's coming towards Gemini? Let their intentions be known. I'm telling you, they, they want to end the conflict. There's been some kind of combativeness, some kind of um, argument, breakup, right? Disgruntlement, because I'm hearing disgruntled employee for some of you guys too. There's been some kind of conflict or battle that you've been going through either silently or with this person or even with a group of people because the lovers can be a third party situation. Three of swords can represent a third party situation. And we got about five people on this card. So there's a lot of bodies here. So Gemini, there could be somebody who Maybe there was this combativeness in the past and they want to come towards you and be like, I want to heal the situation. This doesn't have to just be love, guys, like romantic. This could be like a friend. This could definitely be an ex-friend. I'm sorry, guys. Just give me one second. rustling around on my porch and I have to fucking keep the watch 24 7 for stray dogs because they just come up on your porch so Ugh, but I don't want to get into that because I could literally sit here and bitch about that for an hour so anyways um but yeah I get that energy though Gemini like there's been a combative situation there's been a conflict in your life possibly with one or more people and somebody is wanting to come forward and let their intentions be known you might have your guard up against this person maybe this person was playing for the other side um, maybe they were like you know like this is almost like you have a problem with a group of people and then one of the people that's in that group comes and tells you like I just want to let you know that I think it's really shitty the way that they treat you and you're like whoa <laughs> like are what are you an informant or something like are you here to get information are you here to trick me like there's this energy here of like i thought you were with them or i thought that you were you know that i wasn't shit there's that energy here gemini so take it as it resonates but somebody who you had a combative situation with or uh, several people or a situation that was already combative there's somebody coming forward that wants to let their intentions be known and their intentions are that they don't want to fight with you or they don't want to have this combative situation. They want to end this. They don't want this animosity between you guys or in this situation, period. Yeah, because there could have been a lot of hot-headed, impulsive actions. There could have been a lot of anger. Some of that could have even caused some kind of like legalities. Like if there was somebody who was angry, came to your house, you know, I don't know. I bust the windows out your car. That's what they started playing. Wow, that's crazy. That's what they started playing though. There could have been somebody who did that. Like maybe you got into a fight with them, Gemini, or maybe they came and they destroyed your property or, or vice versa. I don't know, right? I don't know. Um, I don't know what side of this you're on, but there is this energy of somebody who, there was like a lot of impulsiveness or a lot of anger and somebody wants to get over that. This could have even, again, led to some kind of legalities. Somebody could have lost their job because of this. Somebody could have lost um, years off their life. They might have had to go to prison or something or do community service or anger management. I don't know, guys. There's this energy of somebody who has, they were impulsive in the past and they made some risky kind of decisions. Um, they've paid dearly for that. <laughs> Whether physically with like the legal, like the legal system or karmically with the spiritual legal system right like that spiritual justice hit their ass somebody paid for some kind of 
fugazi way that they were treating you, Gemini. Somebody was not treating you right. Somebody was either, whether this was to your face or not, they could have just been spreading rumors about you. You didn't even know. They still paid for it. Spirit saw it. Spirit sees everything, right? You may not see it, Gemini, but spirit sees it. And spirit went and got that ass. Somebody paid for their impulsive actions. Somebody paid severely with karmic justice or physical justice for their, for their actions. And now they want nothing more than to come to you and let your their intentions be known that they're not this person. Now, I keep hearing, I don't want to be a player no more. And I kind of feel like for some of you, it's not necessarily player, but hey, look at this. It could be, right? For others of you, it could just be, I don't want to be a fool no more. Like, I don't want to play these games no more. I don't want to have this, especially like if this is like a workplace situation, Gemini, this is making things really uncomfortable in the workplace is kind of the energy that I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, this person has suffered because of this. This person has lost. They don't want you as an opponent. You're too strong of an opponent and you're not even really doing anything and they see that. So they're kind of like, well, damn, this person's not even fighting back. Spirit's got their back. Could you imagine if they were fighting back? Like, I don't want them as an opponent. I, I really don't. Somebody has suffered major karma for fucking with you, Gemini, and now they know better. Now they, they learned the lesson the first time. They don't want to fuck with you again. They, in fact, they want to come actively not fuck with you again. They want to come apologize. They want to come let their intentions be known. They want to come pull these swords out of your heart, right? Remove this conflict from your life. But see, this is a divine choice for them for whatever reason, whether that means an ego death, disappointing people around them, having to turn their back on this group if they were involved in a group. Whatever this is, it's a divine choice for them to do this. Let's move forward. What's the hand of fate? Forces beyond your control, right? What is this for Gemini? Forces beyond their control. What is this? Because somebody or something is intervening here. Yeah, I feel like spirit blocked somebody. Spirit was like, look, you have to come correct. King of Swords, the King of Swords upright. He's coming with the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah, somebody might have went through the court system or had to go to court for something. Like somebody might have came and like, maybe they did come and bust their windows out your car. And part of their punishment is they actively have to apologize to you. Like I'm getting the energy of like a judge making somebody write out a physical apology to somebody. Like, I am sorry that I came and busted the windows at your car. Like, I don't know, Gemini, that's fucking crazy. But that's what I'm getting though. I'm getting like the energy of like, somebody is being forced to come correct. Like this is the law here. Like spirits like, nope, you are coming correct. I feel like this is somebody who kind of tried to cut and run. This is, I'm almost getting the energy that somebody tried to cause an issue in your life. Spirit blocked it immediately. Whether making this person severely ill, right? Giving them some kind of bad karma. And it happened so quickly, so rapidly. It happened so fucking severely that they knew it was attached to whatever they tried to do to you. This could be like a spiritual person. And I say that like this because this, there's all kinds of spiritual people, right? I mean, when you think about it, even the devil was divine when you think about it, okay? So I'm getting the energy of this could be a spiritual person that knows how to read your energy, knows how to read karma, knows when they're suffering through karma and they got hit with some severe karma, like karma so severe that they were like, whoa, I will never fuck with Gemini again. In fact, I will write them an apology. Hey, that's just what I'm getting for somebody. For some of you that don't get this apology, this person never comes and lets their intentions be known. Spirit is asking them to let their intentions be known to spirit. What are your intentions for fucking with Gemini? What are your intentions for doing what you're doing? You're going to have to ask to answer to some kind of court, whether it's physical court or spiritual court. And for a lot of you, this is spiritual court. Like this person was access denied, bitch. Like that's the energy I'm getting. For some of you, this person tried to hack your bank, tried to hack your shit, tried to hack your fucking swag, right? For whatever reason, I don't know. But I'm almost getting like the energy of access denied. Like spirit denied access. They had to turn around. They had to walk away. Some of them angry as fuck with that red, but they had to, they had to walk away. Spirit intervened in something. There you go, karmic ass energy. Like I was saying, okay, that's the energy I'm getting. Somebody came towards you with some karmic ass energy and spirit blocked them or spirit gave them such severe karma that they don't ever want to mess with you again. 
or they're at least very weary about it. I get the energy of like Archangel Michael too with this King of Swords. Archangel Michael has protected you, especially if you've called on him because um, angels cannot intervene. But, you know, I've been getting the message lately that angels can actually can intervene if they're designated to you. Okay. So for some of you, Archangel Michael is designated to you. I've always felt like Archangel Michael specifically watches over air signs and massively watches over Gemini's. I've always got that message. Anytime I've ever called Archangel Michael, he's came immediately. So I don't know. Um, I'm getting that energy though, that some of you, Archangel Michael directly blocked something. So if you call on Archangel Michael a lot, if you wear something, okay, a pendant, a ring, a bracelet, if you have a tattoo, something that you're basically, it's basically like you're giving not praise, but you're representing Archangel Michael, basically, like you're repping him. Like, this is my boy, right? <laughs> this is my team. I, I rep him so hard, I wear his ring, or I wear his necklace, or I wear his pendant, or whatever. It's like, he has your back. Like, I don't know, for some of you. So take that as it resonates, yeah. He's coming in to try to get you out of some kind of bondage or some kind of stressful situation that you've been in. For some of you, you just need to ask your ancestors. You're in a really, really stressful situation. You don't know how to solve this. You got bitches coming at you left and right, busting the window at your car, right? I, I don't know. For some of you, you have a lot of things, a lot of stress. There, It feels very combative or something, wherever you're at, whether this is work, love. Look, it feels very like stressful, Gemini, okay? Wherever you're at, I feel like all you have to do is call on your ancestors or call on Archangel Michael. Ask for divine help. Ask for divine protection. For some of you, that divine protection, that divine help is going to come in the form of just getting picked up and put somewhere else, Gemini. Because... <laughs> Hey, they just said you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Hell no. They did though. They just said that. I'm getting the energy of like with that. It's like you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You can't reinvent the will. Right? You can't make fire be any more better fire than it already is. Like some people are just ignorant. <laughs> I hate to say that, but that's what I'm getting. Some people are always going to be combative. Some situations are always going to suck. This job is always going to drain you. This person is always going to be shady. This house is always going to have these issues. These neighbors are always going to get on your nerves. Like that's the energy I'm getting here. So for the solution for spirit, right? The divine intervention for spirit is to go ahead and just pick you up and have to have you walk away here because that's going to be the only change that they can give you. Like for some of you, these people, this situation is just doing what it was designed to do. I've said this in a most recent video. You can't get mad at people for being stupid when that's what they are. I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. If somebody's ignorant, if somebody's stupid, if somebody does stupid things, you can't get mad at them for doing stupid things. They're stupid. That's what they do. You know, like, I don't know. I had to come to that point in my own life. I, I said this in the last video. I had to come to that point in my own life. I cannot keep getting mad at people for doing what's in their nature. I have to make sure that I have healthy boundaries. I have to make sure that I'm on the lookout. I have to make sure that I'm not putting up with shit. I can't depend on other people to enforce my boundaries or to treat me right. That's not their fucking job. It's their job to be exactly what they're going to be. And if they're going to be somebody who crosses your boundaries, that's just what they're here to do. It's it's your job to enforce your boundaries. It's not their job to treat you right, Gemini. You will be do you will do very well to remember that in life. It's not somebody else's job to treat you with respect. It's not somebody else's job to respect your boundaries. It's not somebody else's job to not lie on you, to not cheat on you, to not disrespect you. It's your job to make sure that you're choosing people who won't cheat on you, won't lie to you, won't disrespect for you. And if they are, it's your job to enforce your boundaries, to show them that they're not allowed to do that. That's the only way to solve the problem. So that's the solution for some of you for, for spirit. Spirit's like, I can't change these ignorant ass people. That's what they're here to do. Everybody, listen, Gemini, listen. Everybody has free will. So if they want to take their karmic ass energy and live a karmic ass life, then that's what they're going to do. I can't change that. So what I can change, Gemini, is your surroundings. <laughs> what I can change is your job, right? What I can change is something in your life that makes you have to get up and get out of this. That's what I can change for you. That's the hand of fate. That's for some of you guys.
Some of you guys are peeping that out. You're, you're peeping that information. You see that. You're like, yeah, I do see that. The only thing that's going to change around here is me, <laughs> right? Like these, this is this has been like this since before I even got here. It's like you're in a job where shit's just ignorant, right? People are just combative. People are competitive. People are petty and, you know, you don't get any support. It's just constant stress and chaos. Like, but it was always like that, Gemini. You saw that when you walked in. You, you were looking around like, man, these people are crazy. What, did you think it was going to suddenly change? No. It's always been like that, Gemini. So it's never going to change. You have to change. You have to remove yourself. That's for some of you guys. But I feel like if, for those of you that are like, but how, Sway, right? I feel like Spirit is going to come in and, and help you figure that out. What's this Gothic Tarot? Which I feel like, honestly, what we're going to right now, this is the ending, right? This is a, an ending to a cycle here. Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are going to get take that inspired action to get that, you know, get that fire up out your butt and to move or whatever, however that saying goes. Now, the last is out your ass. I don't know, Gemini. I feel like there's that energy here, though. You're needing to act on something. You're needing to make a decision to act, to manifest, to bring a change into your surroundings. Now, for some of you guys, there's definitely, for my masculine Geminis here that are watching, you definitely need to bring an ending to a very combative feminine energy. Like, not bring an ending to her. Bring an ending to the situation with her. Remove yourself from the situation. Stop messing around with this person. Stand up for yourself. Walk away. Whatever it is. But that is specifically for my male Geminis. There's definitely a very angry woman around you that possibly is very manipulative and uh, yeah, you're needing to see that for what it is. You're going to have to walk away. That's for some of you guys. But for a lot of you, I just feel like this Queen of Wands is just saying that you need to manifest this. You need to take the action. Because to be honest with you, Gemini, you could kind of sit in your circumstances forever. Like that's the energy I'm getting here. Like spirit might make it a little uncomfortable for you, right? Um, might make your job a little bit more uncomfortable for you. But at the end of the day... Geminis are very good at adapting. We're very good at evolving and we'll stay in some shit and make it work if we really have to, you know, like Geminis can be the kings slash queens of suffering in silence. We really can. So I feel like spirit knows that that's not enough. Like it's not enough for me to just make Gemini uncomfortable. It's not enough for me to just have their situation turn shittier and shittier. Like that's not going to do it because I know my Geminis, they're strong, they're adaptive, right? <laughs> <laughs> like they will overcome this is not enough we must have gemini make the choice we must have gemini take this action that they need to take or else yeah it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen they have to take the action here that's the energy i'm getting gemini so spirit if you're in, if you're such listen okay if your situation if your circumstances are getting increasingly more annoying increasingly more agitating like increasingly more like i can't deal with this anymore it's because that's what spirit's doing on purpose because the situation was probably always shitty from the fucking beginning it probably wasn't really what you you know really wanted you there was always some kind of compromise or there was always some kind of turning your head or stifling yourself or getting going along to get along right there was always something like that so it's like you know it's getting worse and worse and worse so you can take the action okay that's what i'm getting jim all right that's just what i'm getting here look or or what's gonna happen what's gonna happen gemini right when when spirit has over and over and over again pushed you to leave something behind to change something to do what you know you need to do to feel better when spirit has actually went ahead and intervened and made things more uncomfortable, released um, this energy of not knowing what the truth is, right? Spirit, I'm getting energy of spirit has even ripped off the masks of people around you, shown you their true form, shown you their true face. And you're still like, well, I don't see another way out of this right now. What happens? What happens when we refuse to do what we know we need to do? The tower. That's what happens. The tower only ever comes out when spirit has to intervene. And spirit's like got a lot to do, guys. Spirit's got like, what, eight point something billion people on just this planet? Just this one. Who knows however many more there are? 
but just this planet has eight point something billion souls, not including the animals, to look after. You know, I don't have time to baby, like walk you through this, baby step you through this. We kind of just have to take the crash course. We're just gonna have to just demolish everything, right? It's almost like a house with mold. It's like, you know, yeah, we could go ahead and treat the end, you know, we could treat this part of the house and we could do this, but eventually it's gonna creep because that's what mold does, it spreads. So, you know, and again, you can't fault the mold for being the fucking mold. It is what it is. It's just doing what's in its nature. So what do we do? We have to just burn it all down then. That's the only way to solve the problem. You can't change the mold. You can't go, mold, will you stop being mold? No, it's not going to stop being mold. You have to change the problem. That's what it is, Gemini. That's what this is saying. That's exactly what this is saying. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some advice, which I already kind of feel like I know what the advice is, but let's see what the advice is right? Wealth and prosperity. Uh, things are going to work out for you, Gemini. Things are going to be okay. Okay. I feel like that's just like, <laughs> I feel like spirit's like just went a little rough on you. I just want you to know that things are going to be all right. Right. I feel like spirit wants you to know that things are going to work out, but again, it's going to work out because you're going to take the inspired action. I feel like almost what this is saying is don't worry if you need the money to get out of a situation with this wealth and prosperity, it's going to come. If you need the courage to get out of a situation or to move forward or to stand up for yourself, it's going to happen. Um, if you don't need any of those things, but it just feels like shit's still not working out in your favor, something's gonna happen. There's some kind of luck that's involved with the black eyed peas, okay? And there's this energy of like luck, something working out in your favor. That's the advice, really. So it's not really advice, it's more like confirmation that don't worry, this is gonna be taken care of. We have divine intervention twice. It might be a little messy. Might be a little sloppy. Black Eyed Peas can be sloppy. You know, it's kind of hard to get a nice presentation for Black Eyed Peas, they're like slop on the plate, right? So that's why I'm getting that sloppy energy. Like it might be a little sloppy, but you know, we will fix this problem, Gemini. It will be solved one way or another, okay? I don't know, Gemini. I don't know how this reading, you're going to feel about this reading. What do we have for Gemini? Advice, please. What do we have for advice for Gemini? We have the jar, mentorship, and protection. You will be protected, Gemini. I feel like almost like, again, this coming out on top of that energy where I felt Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael has blocked something. For some of you guys that somebody tried to put you in a jar, somebody tried to freeze your abundance, right? Somebody tried to freeze your energy. Somebody tried to hurt you. Whatever, guys. I feel like this shit instantly backfired. Like I said, spirit was like access denied. Like the energy. So let's just say they try to send a demon to you, right? They try to put you in a jar with a demon. Basically, spirit blocked this energy, right? Archangel Michael there defeated the, and where else is, where does the demon go back to? Where does it, where does it have to go after that? It goes back to the fucking sender. That's where it goes. Okay, because because the sender is much weaker than you are. I can guarantee you. If if anybody's out here putting black magic on somebody, I can tell you right now, you're probably a weak ass bitch. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm not even going to. I don't got time to do it. They don't pay me to lie to you. Okay, you're probably weak as fuck if you're doing that. Because anybody that has spirit, anybody that can fight their own battles, doesn't have to do that shit. So that's just my own opinion here. I feel like, you know, if somebody tried to send something to you, a spirit blocked it instantly and it went back to the weak ass bitch that sent it in the first place. Anyways, spirit saying to focus on yourself with this vanity set, self-awareness and clarity, being aware of, again, what you can do to cause the problem or what you can do to solve the problem, excuse me, because that's the energy I'm getting here. Like I said, it's like a house full of mold. We can't sit here and put the mold down in a chair and have a stern talking to the mold about being mold. Now mold, you know, you shouldn't be so toxic. Mold's like, but that's what I am. I'm toxic, right? <laughs> that's what you created me to be. So spirit's like, no, I can't do that. I can't sit here and yell at the mold. I have to get you to be self-aware. I get to have to get you to see Gemini that you're the creator here. If you don't want to live in a house full of mold, move the fuck out. It's really as simple as that, you know? All right, Gemini. Anyways, that has been your reading and I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it has something and I see you in the next one. Love you, Gemini. Bye.